Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of an add-on I created called Interface Splitter. This add-on was developed to help keep my interface clean and consistent by providing me a very quick way to open up different spaces in Blender. The add-on is free and open source. Download links will be in the description of this video. And once you have it installed and activated, you'll have this menu at the top of the 3D viewport called Interface. And you have these different options in here. And once you select one, that opens up that space and splits the interface in a predefined way. And so you can see that the outliner and the property space just open right here from the left. But if you're opening up like the UV editor, that's going to split the space in half, giving you a little bit more room. And then the timeline options will open up from the bottom, which is really handy. But the nice thing about this is this menu is customizable. And so here, if you go into the preferences, and open up the interface splitter add on the one you have activated here, you'll have a preference where you can use a custom menu. And so if you check this option, now you can add different menu items. So once we click that button, now we have a new menu item added here, and we can give it a name. So if this is going to be the UV editor, we can type that in. And then here we can select the space that we're going to be using. So this is the UV editor. Here we can determine the split direction. And so in this case, I want to split it vertically. And then we can specify the split factor. And so if we want to split the interface in half, we can type 50% there. And if you want to, you can use a custom icon. So once you select that, you need to type the name of the icon in here. And Blender ships with an add-on that is called Icon Viewer. And so with that um, expanded, you'll have access to this Icon Viewer button, which once you click that, these are all the different icons that you can use in Blender. And so once you click on one of these, you can see that it gives you the name of that icon right here. And so you can just copy that. And we'll scroll down to the bottom, click OK, and then we'll go back up to the interface splitter preferences. We can paste that in there, just control V there. And you can see that gives you the custom icon that you added in. And so here you can add as many menu items that you want. One thing that's important to know is that there is this option to create a separator. And so once you click that, that's just going to add a separator it allows you to group the different menu items very quickly. So here, let's add in one more option. And in this case, let's go ahead and open up the shader editor. And let's go ahead and split it horizontally 50%. And we'll go ahead and keep the same icon here. We'll go ahead and type in a name for that icon. So there we go, or for that menu. And we'll close out of this. And so now we have our custom menu with that splitter in there. And so when we click on UV, that opens up the UV editor, just like we would expect. And then the nodes opens up the node editor. And so as you can see, this is not a game changing add on, but little speed ups like this can be very helpful. Now I'm working on some bigger add-ons to help with the process of creating parametric assets. So feel free to subscribe to this channel for future updates on that. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.